So let's assume that I have a friend and I gotta go visit my friend. It's my house, that's my friend's house. So I walk north for six kilometers because I love to exercise as I was walking and then I go six kilometers east and I got to my friend's house. The distance that I travel is a total of 12 kilometers. Well, the shorter distance from my house to my friend's house is represented by the displacement vectors. It's from this point to that point. So we can say that points from an object's initial position to its final one is the displacement vectors. In the previous video, we talked about uh, vectors and we realize that it doesn't matter as where this vector is located where it start as long as it have the same magnitude and directions is the same vector so the body of this arrow represent magnitude the head of this arrow represent directions so what I can do is I can shift this vectors down uh, shift it to the right or uh, shift it back up is the maintain its initial properties, initial magnitude and initial direction. So you probably realize by now that if we have parallel vectors at the same length, we can conclude that they are equivalent. Vector additions. So to add vectors, what we need to do is we need to place the tail of the second vectors at the head of the first and so on. So I have vector A, if I want to add to vector B, then I take vector B, the tail of it, put it on top of the head of vector A. And then vector some points from tail of first to the head of the last, that would be the resultant vectors. So you take vector A plus vector B, and you draw from the tail of the first vector, to the head of the last vector, that will give you the resultant. When vectors are added together, the sum is independent of the order of additions. So if you take vector A plus vector B, it should equal to vector B, B plus vector A. So let's see that. So let's say I take vector A, vector B first, I draw that down here. I can shift the vector without changing the magnitude nor the direction. And then I'm going to put vector A, the tail vector A to the head of vector B, okay, to draw the second one. So the resultant vectors is this line right here, which is the same as the top one. So let's try three vectors. Let's say I do A plus B first. So a vector A, and then I put vector B and then vector C. The resultant vectors is from the tail of the first one to the head of the last vector. So that will give me the resultant vectors. So let's see if I do B plus C first and then plus A to see if the same as the first one. So remember this resultant vector line. So if I do A, B, which is vector B first and then go down vector C and then go add to A then you have the same resultant vectors as the previous drawing so whether you add two vectors or three doesn't matter the order of additions you should get the same resultant 